first guest tonight is a Golden Globe winner and current Golden Globe nominee who joins us all the way from Turkey. He takes his social distancing very seriously. His nominated performance in The Undoing is streaming on HBO Max now. Please welcome Hugh Grant. Hi, Hugh. How are you? Hello. Yes, miserable. Thank you. Very good. What time is it in Turkey, may I ask? It's unspeakable. <laughs> it's, 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 four, it's four in the morning. Oh, it's four in the morning. Thank you for. Did you stay up or did you get up? I uh, find I am generally awake from two till four, having uh, anxiety attacks and uh, <laughs> general existential gloom. So this should be a fun segment. <laughs> Great. I'm glad I could share that with you. Yeah. You um have, do Turks actually. Sorry, well, it's actually, actually, to tell the truth, I did get a bit of sleep, but... Uh, you did, good. I, 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 yeah, I have my children with me here, and um, oh. I my children. I have a three-year-old who does not sleep well because she's terrified that a giant banana is coming into her room. <laughs> what? <laughs> had a bit of that tonight. Where did she get that idea? Well, I think because there actually was a giant banana that used to come into her room. I see. Well, that, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, you might want to cut off her Nickelodeon or something. <laughs> Do people know you in Turkey? Are they familiar with your work there? Are you recognized frequently? They're, they're very friendly to me mm -hmm. uh, I, I, and nice. But I will say they're more excited by my co-star. I'm doing a film here with Jason Statham. Ah. And they're more excited by him. We <laughs> actually went... He, he's got his family here as well, and we all went together to a sort of theme park yesterday, and they had dolphins. And to my horror, you, you're allowed to stroke the dolphins. And my family <laughs> was allowed to stroke the dolphins first. The dolphins were quite nice to us. They sort of went... Mm. And then Jason Statham bends over the dolphins, and they go mad. You know, it's like, it was like this. They were up on their tails. They were doing backflips. And I was a little hurt that the dolphins preferred even the Turkish dolphins are excited about Jason Statham. That's weird, though, that you've got giant bananas and stroking dolphins over there. I mean, it's... Are you sure you're not dreaming now? Maybe you're sleeping right now. And... <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> this is all a weird journey. OK, so you're over in... Have you been to Turkey before? I used to come here in the 1980s. Uh, I used to come to... Have you ever been on a Club Med? No, vacation. no, but I'm curious about them. Tell me about it. That, there's a club I, med there in Turkey? Yeah, this was like in the, 1984 or something, and it was. Uh, I used to come with a girlfriend here, and we learned to love it. Uh, it's unusual. You you know, it's, um, you, you, for instance, you all eat together yeah. uh, at communal tables, which originally I was a bit snobby about, but it became fascinating. There was a guy who, from the north of England there who gave us a bulletin every night about the fact that he hadn't been to the bathroom yet. For, you know, <laughs> we, we became obsessed with his bowels. All that I find quite fascinating. <laughs> then there's a, there's a communal aspect where after dinner you go to a sort of amphitheatre and everyone sings together. And on the first night you think, these people are freaks, this is a cult, this is ghastly. But by the third night, you know, you're singing, hands up, give me hands up, you're just loving it. <laughs> um, so I, I liked it. <laughs> Plenty to do. <laughs> well, what do you do? Do they have organized activities? It sounds like a cruise on land. Yeah, it's a bit like a cruise. And, and again, you know, you, you think I won't like any of this. When the guy comes along and says, I'm, I'm Ken, I'm, I'm going to be your playmaker for today. You guys are in the yellow team for Toss the Egg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I, I'm going to play that game with my girlfriend. Thank you very much. But in fact, you know, by the end of the week, you really, really want the yellow team to win it. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, it's just basic human nature. You get excited about the yellow team. Now, is Club I Med, think... am I confusing it? Isn't it like a sex thing, Club Med? Like a, like a couple's <laughs> sex retreat or something? Well, I wish someone had told me that. I didn't oh, know that not. aspect. Oh. What am I thinking of, Guillermo? Guillermo, you know this stuff. A, a little bit, Jimmy, a little bit. It's, it's like a sex club, but not really. Well, Guillermo says it's like a sex club, but not really. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Yeah, no, but Club Med's just like a, is it like a family type of situation? I don't remember any 
I was about to say sex, but I'm sure there was. I don't. I think you're thinking of eighteen. I think you're thinking of eighteen to thirty or something like that. But uh, or hedonism. There was one called hedonism. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Yes, right. We this call one it hedonism. Was more, this one was more healthy. Activities included things like, um, well, you could you could learn to do trapeze. Uh, there was a big trapeze set up with some, you know, acrobats. Did you do that? Did you try that? Well, I, I thought I, I said to my very pretty girlfriend at the time, oh, I'll have a go at that. Yeah, I'll do that. So I, I joined the line. It was almost all children. And then one grown up me. And one by one, these kids went up the ladder and they learned to swing beautifully and they get caught and then they fall gracefully into a net. And it was my turn. I get up the ladder and totally freaked out. I, I couldn't handle the height at all. I couldn't even be helped across onto the platform. And in the end, I had to be brought down by one of the acrobats over his shoulder like a piece of dead <laughs> And I remember, this was a bad <laughs> romance. <laughs> and you like this place. This is a, this is a good vacation. <laughs> now that I'm talking about it, I remember I hated it. <laughs> Are the kids having fun there? In like, are they enjoying the hotel, or what are they doing? And I guess there's not, they don't have the COVID restrictions that we Well, it's a, have yeah, it's a damn sight nicer than it was in London for them, poor things, where there was no school, no nothing. Uh -huh. And here they've got pools and things. But uh, my, my boy, I might, I've got an eight-year-old boy here who, <laughs> he, every, the hotel is divided up into sort of cabins, and you get around in golf carts. And this is, the, the, you know, amazing for him. So he, his oh, new yeah. activity is, jumping out of golf carts, so you're driving along <laughs> fast. Where's Otto? He's gone, he's gone. He just jumps out. And uh, worse, he's jumping into golf carts, <laughs> not just out. Total strangers. <laughs> Are you <laughs> driving along. Suddenly, there's a little boy sitting next to them. Do you let him drive the golf cart? Well, I I'm going to get into trouble if I say yes, but yes. You do, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, just to calm him down, <laughs> because he's so insistent. Uh, but anyway, it's gone fine. He's only seriously hurt two people. <laughs> right, We're going to take a break. Hugh Grant is with us. The Undoing is his show. We'll be right back. See, that can happen. That can happen. We can just lose ourselves sometimes. We become you know, other. It could be panic or anger or... Or love sometimes. We lose ourselves. This is why this is why your son jumps out of the cart. <laughs> it's you, Grant. <laughs> in the undoing. You're so good in this this series. I mean, really unbelievably good. <laughs> to the point where I feel like maybe even um, you know how I, you know, I always thought, oh, Hugh Grant seems like a good guy. He seems like he'd be a fun guy to hang out with. But now, after seeing this, I feel like I don't trust you. And <laughs> that you might actually be dangerous. I mean, that... <laughs> you did, uh, you did, the, you were nominated uh, for Golden Globe, as I mentioned. Nicole Kidman, your co-star, she plays your wife in The Undoing, is nominated. And the gentleman who played your father-in-law, Donald Sutherland, is nominated as well, and all of you were great. Had you worked uh, with either of those people before? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. Uh, I, Nicole, I just, uh, was someone I just knew socially a bit. I mean, we, it feels like we worked together because she was the villain in Paddington 1, I was the villain in Paddington 2, but I never. <laughs> <laughs> the Paddington um, connection? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For a long time, I thought we should put Paddington in the undoing, actually, just for a moment. <laughs> pass him the Don't comment on it, just have him just pass through the background. <laughs> on Fifth Avenue. Or but nobody <laughs> listens to the actors. It's annoying. All right, it was, yeah, I'm would, full of good ideas. Like that would have been great. Donald Sutherland, his character, and I don't. I want to be careful because I don't want to give away too much for those who have not seen uh, the whole thing all the way through yet. But Donald Sutherland's character does not like your character at all. Did that carry over in onto the set into real life at all? It would be fun if it did, but uh, <laughs> no, I, I, sadly we got on rather well. Uh, have you met him? I've not met him. No, I've met his son uh, many times, but I've not met him. Oh, Donald's great. I mean, he's the oldest person alive, I think. He must be <laughs> I, 
I start every email to him with, are you still alive? <laughs> it, it's not possible. And, uh, what do you email with Donald Sutherland about? Is it light stuff or do you wind, check it in? Wind, wind. It doesn't matter what subject I start. I might say, oh, what, well, how about the American election? He'll say yes, but my wind today is quite extraordinary. My wife refuses to be in the same room with me. He's oh. got the sense of humor. Of, yeah, that kind of wind. Oh, that kind of wind. Uh, okay. Yeah. He would get on very well with my eight-year-old in terms of humor. <laughs> One of the great things about this show, I thought, was uh, Donald Sutherland's eyebrows are so wildly unkempt. And, you know, I would think that in most situations, some a stylist would sit down and say, we got to trim those. But what, was, that a, was that a conscious decision made on set to leave the eyebrows wild? They were their own character. They had their own contract and their own makeup artist. Uh, <laughs> So Donald would get made up, and then there'd be a whole new woman who came in to... <laughs> to Will you be watching the Golden Globes from Turkey? You'll still be there on Sunday? Yes. Yes, I'll still be here. You will, yes. It's a remote ceremony anyway, so it should be... Uh, Correct. No Correct. different than... It'll be, it'll be the middle of the night for me. We'll have had the banana dream once or twice. <laughs> uh, I'll put on a bow tie and sit front of the computer. Just a bow tie, nothing else. I like that. Will they go to you live uh, during the show? Should you win the the Golden Globe? I suppose so. Yeah. I I I, I, I don't. I'm not. I, I'm not planning on winning. I'm planning on losing, and then standing up to clap the winner, and revealing that I'm naked from the waist down. I like it. I like it a lot. That's the kind of. <laughs> that's the kind of thing that got you, got you named captain of the yellow team at Club Med. <laughs> <laughs> Hugh Grant, every, all episodes of The Undoing are on HBO Max right now. Thank you, Hugh. Go back to sleep. Hugh Grant, we'll be right back with Tiana Paris. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button. And if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.